Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Now I'll just get straight into it. If you have seen some of my recent videos, you'll know I've been a bit splurgy <laughs> on some art supplies and I now need to find a home for them. I now need to put them away. <laughs> so if you've missed them and you like an art haul, then have a look back at some of my previous videos because I've bought a few things recently. <laughs> also in a recent video, you might have seen me organizing this whole corner with extra storage and extra bits and bobs to keep things neat and tidy. So I am keeping my fingers crossed that most of this is going to fit in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just looking. Can you see the three boxes on the table here? Yeah, well, it probably isn't. Some of this stuff will go in the chest of drawers in that corner where I also keep art supplies. But I thought you might like to see me organising and putting away and tidying up some of these art things and finding a place for them in my studio. So let's begin. So these two boxes are the ones that came in that big haul that had paint all over them. I've now cleaned them all up, mostly. I'm sure I'm still gonna get a bit of paint on my fingers. But much better than they were. Yeah, so that was, that was the stuff from eBay. And then this is the sprays from, the ink sprays mainly, from Craftelia. So I think I'm gonna start with them because I'm hoping that's not gonna be too difficult because I left space knowing that they were, I'd already ordered them. So I'm hoping most of them will fit in that box there with the other sprays. And we've got a little bit of room in this box here too for them. There were a few new washi tapes from Jane Davenport and this is my washi tape drawer which is kind of full. We'll see what we can do. Maybe I can squash some up or pile some up differently. All these uh, craft acrylics. I'm hoping <laughs> this bottom drawer here also has sort of beginner grade paints. Maybe if I sort of part, I might need to take these big ones out. Actually, I could take those big ones out, but I'm. We'll start with filling up this space here, and um, I've got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping that most of these. I'm hoping that these will go in there. If necessary, I'll take the big ones out and just have the small ones in there. I might need to do a bit of jigging around because in this drawer, we've also got some of similar things. But a lot of these are crackle paint. See, that's an ordinary acrylic. I'll put, I'd like to put them together. Perhaps have the sort of speciality, the pearl paint, the crackle paints maybe. Or perhaps the metallic paints could go here in this one sort of separate it as well we've also got some space in here these are my very ancient poster paints which i ought to sort through properly because i don't know if they even work they might all be dried up but there's some space there there were a few liquid acrylics which i would imagine are very similar to my golden high flow acrylics and i'm thinking i can stack these up a bit better they could definitely be two in a row there and I'm hoping they'll fit in together in there too. So that's all my posh gouaches at the top. That is chock -a block full of ink. This one is my posh acrylics and we did have a couple of these in here I think. I'm hoping they'll fit. Yeah I think so. I think there was just a couple. And under here we've got the um, water soluble crayons. And under there are the oil pastels. I, I can't do that one-handed. <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping to get these up on the shelf here with these, perhaps with the woodies. These, there's space in here if I stack these upright because these are a similar sort of thing in a way. They're water-soluble crayons. Um, if not, I can put them perhaps in their own pot and put the pot sideways and that could go next next to there there is a space because I've got the some pen pots off on my desk because I was doing some journaling last night so we'll see potentially the glitters stacked at the back there could go back in the drawers they look pretty but I'm not going to be reaching for them that frequently so they could be put away really so let's see how we go
Well, we're all done and I'm really, really pleased. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is the uh, washi tapes that I've put in an old cutlery tray at the back there. Oh, they look a bit precarious, don't they? So we'll see. I'm sure one day they are just going to fall all over the place. But for now, I can't think of anything better. And I really like the way they look like that. So they're going there. To be honest, I'd like them on display better without the paintbrushes in front. But that's where my paintbrushes belong at the moment so that's where they are for now i'm really pleased with the pla the clear packaging the clear containers i should say that i've um got for some of these so i managed to fit the diner wakely scribble sticks in with my woodies they're a similar sort of medium so hopefully they'll go quite well together these oil pastels so I do have other oil pastels that um, I just keep in the drawer over the, in the corner in their original packaging. It's a shame these didn't come in their original packaging or they could go with them. But they are quite messy, you know, that will rub off. If I put them in a pencil case, it will rub everywhere and probably won't come off again. So I thought, actually, the fact that they fit in this old, um, probably one of those goo cheesecake jars that have back back of the cupboard you know um sort of thing i'm i'm quite chuffed with that and i'm i love the in fact i'm gonna swap i'm gonna swap some of this round because i'm absolutely loving the clear using clear jars so i've used clear candle jars yeah i'm gonna swap these over put that one at the back <laughs> and i could swap that for an, a, a jam jar or something but i need that cup every now and then i need to test cup carriers these are cup carriers i made for glastonbury festival for carrying around your pint cup and i need it handy so as it's got to be handy anyway it may as well be useful as well but i will swap those over and put the nice oh we just got lightning i wonder if you saw that <laughs> put the nicer pens at the front Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, thunder. It's a good day. It's a good day for sorting out your art supplies. Look how miserable it is. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. All the lights have to go on because it's so dark. Oh, big thunder. There we are. That just fits on there. Quite pleased with that. So the only things... Oh, and the reason why I swapped the washi tapes, because they were they fitted really nicely on here whoopsie daisy there goes one of them it's because in this box i've got these uh pastes these glittery pastes and these are shimmery glittery pastes as well so i thought they should probably go together and um, they won't fit in that box but balanced on the lid works on top so that's where they've gone all that's left then the only things that didn't fit in this whole corner situation i did end up taking these acrylics out i mean that's sort of okay because some of my old big student acrylics are in the drawers so that's okay these pens that i haven't tried yet i'm not really quite sure what they're going to be like whether they're for it says glass effect gel glass and porcelain paint transparent so i'm not actually sure this is something i'm going to use anyway Maybe I will, but they can go somewhere else for now. I've got a um, perf liquid pearls and I've got a couple of others over in the drawer. So I'm trying to get it to focus on the thing. There we go, just about. This is a really cool colour. I'm looking forward to using that. So I'll just put that in the drawer with the others. And lastly, this paint came, came with it and I've got some sort of chalky furniture paint in the drawers as well so i'll pop that with them so they'll be together as well so so i really can't believe i managed to get all of that here I'm quite pleased okay so it actually turned out i already had a little pot of perfect pearls at the back of this bit here um <laughs> supporting my uh, pixie powders so i just uh, i didn't think i was going to get the lid on but because you've got a little bit of um height on the lid that they, it just fitted in here and so I can put that back here I might in the future because that will look so pretty <laughs> displayed some sort of rearrange this somehow because that would look nice just in an upright clear container but there we are
oh my god I just I mean oh, this is just pure delight for me it really is I feel very very lucky so this is the place where I've got some spare room in my drawer because this stuff was in here before and is now out on display at the moment it's a little box of randoms the rest of the drawer is actually mainly empty pencil cases again because they're now out on display so in here oh dear I can't really do this one-handed without plopping it everywhere I'm just gonna actually open the drawer below so this is where I keep my these are my old paints from when I did GCSE art yes I still have them of course I'm not going to throw them away so this is where I'm going to pop those those cheaper paints here um, oh dear sorry I'm balancing this camera very precariously and also this that that home decor chalk paint I'll pop in sort of here as well and then these random glass paints can go there there's a meme I love that says collecting craft supplies and actually crafting are two separate hobbies. I fear I have fallen into another hobby. Anyway, I did use some of those supplies in this painting of Scotney Castle. I referenced a photo I took when we visited with my mum last year. It's such a magical place. You can really imagine it as a setting for a fairy tale towers and crumbling stone staircases and surrounded by a moat. I hope we can go again soon. I got a bit stuck about halfway through this picture actually. I painted the building but didn't know how to carry on. I'd used ink spray for the background but I felt it needed more abstract marks and colours and I'm not confident with that yet. So it sat on the desk for about two weeks until in the end I decided I just needed to go for it. I tried the Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2 water soluble crayons and laid down the lines and scribbles in a very loose manner. And I'm quite happy with the overall finished effect.
Hello, just editing me from the future. <laughs> remembering that I forgot to say to you earlier that I am doing Vlogmas on YouTube Shorts. So if you're not familiar with YouTube Shorts, if you go to, um, if you click on my name and find my YouTube page, at the top there's videos and then there's shorts next to it. So they're only about 30 seconds long each time, each one, and I thought, well, that's manageable. I can do that because I do love doing Vlogmas. I've done it um, a couple of years, a few years ago, but it's so intense with um, editing and finding something to film every day. It, it's a bit tricky, <laughs> but I thought I can manage shorts and then I've got a nice little record of everything I did in December. So do have a look over there for the decorating of the tree and all that sort of thing. And um, yeah, I'll see you over on there too editing me again even further in the future <laughs> I did want to add to that please don't rely on me doing a vlogmas every single day I know you're supposed to but I've already fallen behind a couple of days and they've turned up a bit late and if I'm really doing nothing interesting at all there might just be a few gaps here and there but I hope you enjoy watching them anyway Thank you for watching, have a magical week and take care. Bye.